Greetings one and all, this is Lloyd Brown and welcome social media family to my vlog. Now before I even go into anything else, I just want to bring a little side topic. Wisdom toothache has got to be one of the worst pains known to man. Now I know women amongst you might be saying, try childbirth. I'm not a woman, so I don't know how that feels. But I can appreciate love the fact that childbirth is an almighty pain that brings forth life because you've got to go through the pains of life as it were so I'm not gonna argue about that because I'm not a woman however I think wisdom toothache comes as a healthy second <laughs> oh man I've been having wisdom toothache for the last three four days I'm on some painkillers and painkillers and painkillers man i've got a, an appointment with the dentist but i don't even trust the dentist because right about now you could have, you could have healthy teeth and then just want to pull it out so you can just earn kitching some dollars out of your healthy teeth you know what i mean i don't trust them it's not like before you just go to a dentist every six months and you know they hook you up with a clean or what have you now it's like they're going private they're going private for a reason because they want to make money you know what i'm saying they can't make no money out of people going in, in there with healthy teeth you know what I'm saying? That's like peace. There's no business in peace. That's why you've got arms dealers selling guns all over the place simply because confrontation is good. It's good for business. You know what I mean? But anyway, it's a side, po side pocket. Side pocket. Side topic. <laughs> I don't have no feelings in my mouth whatsoever. Look. No feelings whatsoever. So I think it's because of the fact that my wisdom tooth has flared up. But I'm going in like a trooper. I'm voicing some tunes today under some ibuprofen, under some garlic, under some salt. And yeah, I'm just going in. But anyway, aside of that, <laughs> I just want to take the opportunity um, in thanking each and every one that has shown me enough love, enough support um, for my vlogs. And more notably, the vlog that I've done with Bubblers. I've been getting a lot of feedback from that. It's, I think it's the fourth, the fourth interview in the series because I've interviewed DJ Woman Easy. I've interviewed um, Patrick Anthony. And I've interviewed presidents. And those are DJs, trumpeters, and publishers, respectively. And the fourth interview being with Bubblers. Had a lot of feedback from that. However, um... Bubbles had to more or less clear something up in relation to what I said because I think people kind of misunderstood what I meant by what I said. Now, misunderstanding what people say that comes with the territory in life. Do you know what I mean? But what I don't understand is why you would ask somebody else what another person meant by what they said or what they implied to have meant to have said. That's like me listening to Mr. A and Mr. B. Mr. A says something that I don't understand and it doesn't sound right, but instead of asking Mr. A, I'm asking Mr. B. That's not right. That don't make sense, you know? Yes, I've got dislikes for the video and what have you, but it's a social forum. So if, so if you have an issue and you don't have my phone number, but obviously if you're putting dislikes on there, you must have a YouTube account. So the easiest thing to do would be to put a question to ask what I meant, but no, it's a go round, go round, go round thing, and you're asking somebody else, which doesn't make sense. If I want to know the facts of what somebody means, I'm gonna ask the person it's himself or herself, get it from the horse's mouth, so to speak. But, you know, there's blissful ignorance and there's willful ignorance, that's, and that's never gonna leave the planet, you know what I mean? But I hope by what Bubbler said, which is basically exactly the same thing as what I meant by what I said because he never had to question what I said because he understood what I meant. And to still say, well, it sounded like, it sounded like, it sounded like. Yeah, it sounded like that to you. And you're responding and reacting to what you think that thing is, not what I'm telling you it is. So you have to review your thinking, you know? You can't react to what you think something is because it might not be what you think it is. It's just common sense, you know what I mean? 
but thank you for taking an interest in the video anyway i'll give thanks for that and you kind of inspired me to basically do um another video which is gonna basically be the season finale this is more or less the penultimate video in the season um i usually do like around 50 50 videos per season and um they get punctuated by work by me voicing or producing or what have you so i like to give a little space in between time so people can actually digest the stuff that i've put up of late and recently so um i want to do a q a i want to do a q a and give you the opportunity to ask me some questions ask me some questions whether it be on my youtube where you can put the comments or your questions down below or you can go on my twitter feed or you can go on my facebook feed now all of those uh, media links is basically lloyd brown music so twitter is at lloyd brown music youtube is lloyd brown music and facebook is lloyd brown music all one word okay lowercase so you can ask me anything you like and i will give you the answer because i believe if you want to know something from somebody you ask that person you don't go around and ask somebody else you know what i mean bubbles i'm a bridging don't get me wrong you know what i mean and we overstand each other when we talk to each other and it just proved that people don't overstand what i say but ask me i'm approachable i think i'm approachable I think I'm an amiable character that you can approach. But if you know how to approach me, well, that is a problem you going to have to deal with. But anyway, um, what am I going to be doing today? I'm actually going to be voicing, voicing some tunes, properly voicing some tunes for the Vocalist Digital Deluxe Edition, which is going to be around six tunes. And then after that i'm going to be voicing the tunes for the brown and bubblers project now we're kind of penciling the brown and bubblers project to be completed and ready for release by around october of 2018 that's what we're kind of hoping for but things can change things can change um what's going to happen in the meantime in the meantime um yep the deluxe edition of vocalists Friday, May the 25th. That's what we're looking at. And um, that's pretty much it. Just voicing, just voicing tracks, properly voicing the tracks and getting them ready um, so that Bubblers can do his thing and I can do my thing. And that's pretty much what I've got on. Um, so this is more or less the penultimate video before season three's finale, which will probably be around Wednesday because I've got another video to present courtesy of Jetstar which is basically the video that I um, that I done with my brethren Patrick on trumpet and Remy on guitar at um, the social which is basically an, it's a small music venue which is down the road from um, Jetstar's offices and they usually um, do these little acoustic promos and interviews for artists that's got albums out. Um, the first one they done was with Luciano. The second one they done was, was with Lynn Gerald. And the third and fourth one, which will be um, Shade Aman and also my vocalist album. So um, it will be on Thursday. It will premiere Thursday, March the 22nd, the day before my Earth Strong, my 54th Earth Strong. So um, I hope that you full joy it when it comes out. But no doubt I'm going to be doing another video before then anyway. Obviously to answer the questions that you are going to ask me. If you're going to ask me anything at all. I might get one, ten, five, no questions whatsoever. But whatever the case may be, whoever asks any questions, I will answer them to the best of my ability. Okay, so is with that, I'm going to bid you guys adieu. And as always, you done know the coup. People, please abstain from foolishness, even if it's your own foolishness. Just admit to it, confront it, stand up to that, move it one side and move forward. Don't be embroiled in your own foolishness, much less anyone else's. 
So it's with that, I'm going to bid you guys adieu. And until we link up on the next video, people stay blessed. Magan.